All right, this video we're going to show you the new Air TV Anywhere. This is a kind of a sequel to the last version of the Air TV. It was called Air TV 2. The difference between this and the last product is this Air TV not only allows you to go ahead and get your OTA channels in with Sling TV or even the Air TV app, but it includes a hard drive. You see on the back it has its standard things. It's got a coax cable section, a power port, an ethernet port, and the USB drive. That way you can hook up external things to it if you like. But like I said, inside of this device it has a hard drive that you can use to record those OTA things. The internet based channels will still be recorded onto the cloud DVR. But this allows everything to be in one place without having to hook up an extra drive. See, this is the old product. This is the Air TV 2. And you'll see it has a basic similar design. It's got the same sorts of ports. And it does the job. But the difference is that you have to hook a hard drive up to it if you want to record over-the-air programming. So what we're going to show you here is how to set up the Air TV Anywhere. As I said, Air TV Anywhere works with Sling TV. That's an app that you're going to find on multiple players like the Roku, the Apple TV, the Fire TV, Android TV, and multiple smart TV programming things. And you'll see in all of your guides you have a section for over-the-air channels. And this device is what allows you to get those over-the-air channels directly through Sling TV. If you have a television like we have here, this is a Roku-powered TV, if you have one but you have the antenna hooked up to it, it's not going to automatically see the antenna connection. So you need to go through the Air TV in order to do that. So there are some newer incarnations that do that, which is cool, but in general, we're going to set this up. I'm going to show you this is the power cord that comes with it. It plugs in right there in the little yellow section. It hooks in nice and securely as you see. We're going to do the old, show you the Dairy Queen test, right? Oh, look, it hangs on by itself. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is hook this up to the back of the TV via the, actually we're not even hooking it up to the TV as much as we are hooking it up to the coaxial cable that is connected to our outdoor antenna. So with the Air TV Anywhere, we're going to get a coaxial cable. This is attached to our outdoor antenna. It's mounted outside and we're just going to plug it in to the port at the bottom of the screen. Excuse me, the bottom of the Air TV Anywhere player. And we're going to screw it in nice and tight. Not too tight, you don't want to strip anything, but get it secure in there. And we're going to power that sucker up. So we're going to take the cord. Probably want to unwrap it a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do that. And there we are, and we're going to start setting it up. First of all, you need to plug the power in into an outlet. We're going to use our little multi-plug here. And next, you want to plug the power into the box itself, like we showed you a second ago. You'll know that it's all up and running when you hear the fan turn on, and look at the little green light it is up and ready so next what you need is a wireless device either an iPad or an Android phone just you know iOS or Android device because you're going to go and launch into the mobile app for Sling TV so that's where we are right now we are on our iPad, and you'll see we've got the Sling TV app right there on the left side. 
So we're going to launch that. All of the setup for Air TV is done through the Sling mobile app. So up in the upper left hand corner you see My TV. You're going to tap on that bar and look down at the bottom of this listing here where you see settings. At the bottom of this you see over the air channels and you'll see set up air tv so we're going to click on set up air tv we're actually going to tap on it you can't really see what i'm tapping we're connecting via wi-fi and so now it's just going to go through and see if we need any new firmware or anything like that. It goes pretty fast. It's all going to depend on what kind of connection you have. And then you see, it sees an Air TV 2 because we used to have that hooked up. But if you tap Next, let's say you did have an Air TV 2, regardless, you want to make sure that you select the correct thing for you. You select so we're going to go and we're going to select Air TV Anywhere. We're going to select an outdoor antenna. And here you can name it. This is helpful because then you'll be able to see it on your network when you're doing later antenna connections and things like that. What should we call it? Let's go with Air TV Anywhere. Wow, didn't see that coming, did you? Okay. So we're going to tap next, and this is going to ask for your zip code. Unless you live in Windell, which is where I live, put your own zip code in, okay? We have a chance to find our broadcast tower. That's kind of cool because it'll show you where the main tower for your channels is actually located. So it gives you an idea. As you see, we're in that Raleigh metro area, so we should be able to get a decent amount of channels here. We're going to connect the Air TV to the antenna and tell it we'd like to connect with Ethernet. Now, if you can plug in, or sorry, we're going to do Wi-Fi. If you can plug into Ethernet, that's a way to go. Just going to next through these. It is powered on, and the Wi-Fi is working on our end. And as you know, we already hooked it up to the antenna. So here's the probably the trickiest part. You see where it's pointing at it, Air TV XXX. What that means is that what we're going to do is go in, we're going to go into the settings for our Wi-Fi and set up the Air TV. After you select the Air TV 3 or whatever your link is on your system, you're going to launch back into the Sling TV app. So there we are. Just to make a point, there we are. We're launching the Sling TV app on our iPad, and you see it recognizes our password or our network. And we're going to sign into the network right here and connect. And oh, look, we made a mistake. We signed into a different network than was in there in the first place. We're just going to have to go back in and fix that. If you see that message, it's no big problem. You just want to make sure that everything matches up. And apparently this thing switched to the 2G network. So we're going to reselect the 5G network. And honestly, I'm glad it did that because I could just imagine one of you guys out there having that problem. All right, so we have successfully joined, and now it's going to download the latest software. This is good because it'll give you the updated firmware for your system. I always find that when you're doing any kind of a setup, the best thing you can have to assist you is something to sip on because sometimes things take a minute. So it's going to scan for channels here. It asks about antenna placement. Where is the best place to place your antenna? 
The best place is on the roof. And so, let's let it go. You know, it tells you where in the window, somewhere high. And if you have done what you need to do ahead of time, you will already have your antenna pointed in the right direction. And now we are scanning. Now, you're going to see me get a lot of channels. As you might have noticed, I'm in the Raleigh area. That is a capital of North Carolina. It's a larger metro. And there are a lot of broadcast towers around for different regions. So that's why I'm going to pick up so many channels to begin with. If you have an outdoor antenna, you should have a decent shot, unless you have a lot of valleys or something like that. But now that we're done with the, the scan, we're going to select the major networks, because that's sort of the main point of what I'm going for. I want to be able to get football games, things like that. And I'm a sucker for comic book shows, so I always add the CW. Even though, really, I think I watch most of them from the app. But... We're going to move forward. We are all registered, and congratulations! So, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump onto a Roku and show you the results of what we've done. So, we're going to launch into the Roku right here, and we're going to launch Sling TV. And... You will see where we have... OTA channels. So there's my TV. We're going to go into the guide. And when you go through, you see they're already listed. But if you want to zero in on them, you go to all channels. Click on over the air channels. And there they are. They're all listed. They're all on the guide. You can look at them in channel form or in the grid. But these are your OTA channels, and now they're set up for recording. This is going to be really nice. It's, it's really cool now that you could, don't have to have an extra hard drive. You know, I've got one around, but, you know, people kind of want something more like TiVo. Just put it in place, and there you go. And this is like that. You now can do all of your OTA stuff. You can do all of your internet-based stuff that records onto the cloud. And you'll have all of your recordings in one place, and that's why it's Air TV Anywhere. Now, there is an app if you don't have Sling TV and you want to use this kind of system. It's just called Air TV, just like the device. You set it up the same way. You just set it up as Air TV and go through its app. But for the purposes of Sling TV, this is how you do it. And this is what it looks like when you're done. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe. Share this video with your friends. It's always good to know what your options are as far as DVR and things like that. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.